Hello and welcome everyone, Jamie X66 back again. Two videos in one day, which can only mean I have something to unbox. So I was contacted by Five Star Games the other day. They said they had a little something to send me with some Persona 5 Royal goodies. So I've cracked it open. We're going to hop in, we're going to unbox it, and we're going to see what exactly was sent. So a big thank you to Five Star Games uh, for sending out some Persona 5 Royal amazingness. So, firstly, we've got the game, which looks like it, it's, it is the Steelbook Edition. So, let's hop into that quickly. Now, I've seen a few people post about um, the Steelbook. It looks gorgeous. Now, I'm a big Persona, um, Persona 5 fan, Persona fan in general. Um, let's quickly showcase the Steelbook. Look at that. We've got Joker on the front. Now, I love the contrast, the gold, the black. The red, the white, looks absolutely crisp. Let's go inside now. This is the Phantom Thieves edition, I believe, which I think is sold out. But if you can get a hold of it, you will get the still book. You also get a dynamic theme, which I will hopefully show in my story a little later on. What do we have here? We've got a little sleeve. That's about it. No instruction manuals these days, unfortunately. As you can see, the inner sleeve sort of reminds me of the opening of the original Persona 5. The opening sort of uh, menu theme song looks gorgeous. And as you can see, the disc also too, sticking with that sort of gold black motif. So let's put that aside. Uh, we've also got his cool little card as well for Persona 5 Royal. So put that aside. And like I said, you've got the sleeve there. Very crisp. I love the design of that. Now... As I said, I have seen a lot of people post about this. We've got a little extra as well, so let's hop into this. Now, I was quite disappointed I wasn't able to pre-order this edition. Um, unfortunately, budget just didn't allow it, but um, we've got a little extra as well. So, got a little stand, and inside we have a replica of Joker's mask. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I love that. And what else do we have in here? So I think we've also got, um, I think that helps stand it onto the stand. And there is the rest of the stand. Now, I'm not going to put this together on camera because I can barely do anything. So I'm not going to do it on camera because we'll be here for two years as I try to set it up. But let me just give you a better look at the stand as you can see there. All decked out in Persona 5 Royal as well. I believe that is what it looks like at the back. We're, go we're going against what I said. And I've already put it together. There we go. So it's not too hard. So as you can see, I think it stands at the top there. Um, and there you go. You can put that on show. So like I said, this is a Phantom Thieves edition. So if you're able to get it, that's what you're able to get. Now, a lot of people have been asking, what are the differences between Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal? I'm here to help you. We've got a little a frequently asked questions to sort of give you an idea of what the differences are. So basically, the new game will have a new playable character. Um, and a new confidant. Now, I went through a quick list to see the differences between the games before jumping on to this video. There is a bunch of included, um, there's new areas, there's new characters, there's like over 20 hours of new content, plus all the dungeon um, and gameplay features have been sort of fine-tuned as well. So you've also got a bunch of new tracks as well. So more story content, a whole new school semester uh, with additional endings that will develop characters. Um, and I am mistaken, over 30 hours of content. Um, you've also got uh, new double teams, new locations, upgraded boss fights. Uh, you've got original PS, um, Persona 5 DLCs all bundled in together. As well as, like I said, new personas, new mementos, new confidence as well there is a bunch of content so let's say you play persona 5 and you thought it was amazing because of course you did you're only a gamer and it is an incredible game so of course you loved it you can go over play this one you're going to have a bunch more content you're going to expand on the story of the original but if for some reason you haven't played the original what is wrong with you you can go out of your way you can play persona 5 royal probably the best way to play it. You get all this additional stuff, and let's say you love it so much, because of course you will, you can go back and play the original as well to get an idea of what the original game was like. So, like I said, if you do find a way to get the Phantom Thieves Edition, you've got their lovely steel book. You've got Joker's Mask, which looks brilliant. I'm going to go put that on display right now. And you've also got the dynamic theme as well. So, thank you very much for watching. 
I hope you all enjoy Persona 5. Uh, let me know if you've played the original game. I am going to go and install this bad boy right now and hop straight into it. I will hopefully have some ongoing impressions as I go, uh, but it is an amazingly huge game, so we will try and get um, up my thoughts as quick as I can. Thank you very much to Five Star Games for sending this through to me. I'm extremely fortunate, and thank you very much. Um, thank you all for watching. Stay safe, stay positive, and as always, keep on gaming.